Hello everyone, this is Jessie Eddin and I thought I'd give another video of how I've got so far with my first suit. Now I haven't done much on it, but it's a big improvement. The reason why I haven't done much is because I've been at college and I've been busy with work, so I haven't been able to have time to do it. But as you can clearly see, what I've done so far is that I have put mesh in the eyes. So I've put one black and one white. This is because I'm trying to use my cat as a reference and she has um, a white um, cheek and a black kind of cheek on the other side. And what I've done here is that I've glued it to a bit of, um, I don't know what that's called, like bubble wrap, something like that, I don't know. Something that comes in packages and so that way if I need to take it off I can just take it off from this white bit there. That way I don't have to... Um, ruin all the paint on the other side like um what happened with i believe this eye um all the paint got pulled off and i had to repaint it and it was a nightmare so if i just put this back in okay so that's one of the things i've done i mean i haven't um actually located where i should put the eyes i mean i have located but i haven't um fixed the eyes just for that reason alone so it looks a bit weird now because i pulled it out but Anyway, I've also done the eyebrows here. I filled in this gap with some more foam to make it more like of a brow shape and not just as a block. Um, I've also, from the side, I've also rounded off the cheeks um, and the cheek bits here. And inside, I've also added an elastic for um, stability and more control because without the elastic for my fursuit head, it would just keep flopping down and it wouldn't have any structure to it so i had to put a bit of elastic in it um another thing is that i've done the inside of the mouth now i did it with two different types of clay but this is how it looks like now and one of the teeth have fallen off there we go so here's the inside of the mouth this is a domestic cat um teeth so they're pretty pretty long so you gotta just be careful with those. All right. So here, if I just move this out of the way. So here I used, um, I got clay, oven baked clay from China. Now that's that's a bad mistake. The reason why is because um, the instructions came in Chinese and I had no idea what it told me to do. So I tried to look on um, YouTube for different videos of how to bake your clay but they've all said bake to instructions and I can't read Chinese so that didn't help me a lot but um, I thought I'd give it a go and see if I see if I can use it and I've just broke one of the canine teeth oh dear but um yeah so this is what it looks like it's a bit too bright there we go so I have teeth made out of white they're so shiny <laughs> I made them out of white and um, sort of a darkish pink. It's the only pink I had. Um, clay. And then I baked it. Um, I couldn't remember exactly how long I baked it for. But the teeth would go together. Like with that canine. It just fell off just now. But this would be the bottom jaw. So this is how a cat's would look like and then this one is the top and it would just fit right and snug inside like that see the interlock and that's what they're meant to but with this clay obviously I didn't know as I said how to cook it um, and it ended up getting burnt considerably and the tongue that I had also made which is inside here Got a bit burnt, but I'm, I'm okay with that. But it had like, it made it all bubbly. And I thought, it sort of looks semi-realistic, so why not? So I used that instead um, of making a new one. So when I um, did the new set, as you can see, they're completely different colours, apart from the white. And what I use is this Filmo Soft White. And it's feel more soft, almost like it comes in different names like champagne, 
and flesh and something else I, I can't remember but there's like three different types of names sorry but it's like a skin color basically and at least this one is in english and you can actually bake it <laughs> i mean you can bake this one but it didn't have any english for me to read but i think i did bake this the first sedative as a prototype but using these instructions and i burnt it so that was scrapped but at least it gave me an idea of how to um do my new set of teeth so what i did is that using the flesh tone clay i rolled out a coil as you can see there's a coil going all the way around and then i grabbed little bits of white and cut them into tiny little balls sort of about like this big this is a bit of glue but kind of like a ball about this size and then i would pinch the top here's a one of the teeth that fell off i would pinch the top and then I would roll it in between my fingers like this. So that way it gives me the base and it also gives me the point as well. And then I'll just gently bend it and mould it to the position it should be in. So like it would be a curved position. So like, as you can see here, this sort of curve. And then um, what I did is that I found some um, foam. Like, I don't know what it is, card foam. Oh yeah, by the way, all this I got from Hobbycraft, for anyone who's wondering. So what I did is that I used a little cutout template that I had made that fit inside the top and the bottom jaw. And then I cut that out. And then once I baked my teeth, I just then put them on top. I just glued it on, on top using hot glue. And sometimes hot glue doesn't work and you have to use other glues. I did try and use um, whatever's left of it. It's like Wilco's adhesive glue. It does work, but um, you have to use a lot of it and let it dry completely. Because this glue does dry like almost instantly. But with clay, it takes a bit longer for it to actually stick together. So that's one thing I do recommend is just having a bit of patience because obviously me rushing obviously broke and that just happened. Um, another thing with these is that um, I didn't like score the teeth to where the gums are. I just put them on top literally. So like for instance if this was my, well this is a tooth, but this tooth would go straight onto there and I wouldn't, I hadn't scored it. And when you score it it's just like using normal clay that you put in a kiln um, when you put clay and clay together it moulds into the into the grooves and sticks better than it would if you just plonged it on top like I did and that's why this has like come off and I had a few problems in here too like as you can see this one way over here has come off and I just had to try and glue it it's a bit wobbly still but um, I'll have to go and do that again and then this tooth came off. So it was a bit of trial and error really. But for my first suit, well my first first suit, I don't think it went that bad. Okay, so with the drawer again, um, just showing you inside. So this elastic piece right at the back will sit underneath your chin. And then these bits that are on the sides will just pull up the bottom jaw all the way. Um, my teeth are a bit long, I, I wanted them to be long, but it's up to you. And as you can see, it doesn't necessarily close well enough, like, it needs to be more um, stable. So I think what I'll have to do is I'll have to put a bridge of foam going from here to here, just so it will push it back up when my face is in it. So that's sort of what it looks like. Okay. Um... And another thing I have to do is that I pulled the ears off because I don't think they were in the right place for me. It, it wasn't just for me. So I pulled them off and I'm going to like make them really, really wider. So I'm just going to push them out further to make them more cat-like and not like, I don't know, rabbit, I guess. So that's what it looks like from the side. I think for my first first suit, it looks pretty, it looks pretty amazing in my opinion. I mean, I've never tried it before. Um, I was going to use resin and stuff, but I thought it was expensive, um, especially for a first time. So I used foam, 
which was obviously it's going to be harder using foam i mean it's easier because it's cheaper and um you, you can mold it to however you want but with resin it's quite easy because you can just get a resin face as it is and um put fur and everything else on it afterwards so it, it's up to you um but if you're first time uh, making the first suit and you're unsure of how to do it I would recommend using foam first just to get the uh, feel of what it's like being inside a fursuit because it can get quite stuffy especially if you've got a balaclava like I have so if my face was in it sorry guys I'm just trying to put it on so if my face was in it the jaw would move at the moment my hands are in it but you can see what I mean um, if my chin was in it as well, it would bring up the bottom jaw closer to the top. But I tried to use, um, I tried to get it as realistic as I could with using references from Google, just anything really like books, um, magazines, Google images, you know, just for like the cat teeth, the cat face. And also, if you're trying to do um, a pet um, like I am, I would recommend that you would also take pictures if you can, from the front of the face, the side of the face, um, just a general whole close-up. Um, if you're also doing a full full suit, a fur suit rather, like I might be doing, then also take pictures because it will come in really good help and handy. Um, so with this, I have just the head. I mean, obviously it's not complete. The eyes are going to come out and I haven't glued them in, as I said. Because I'm, I'm just deciding whether it's the right place or not. But once I'm happy with the head, I'm going to start making paws, um, the hands and the feet, and I might make digi legs. So they sort of come out as if, like, you've got hind legs, if that makes sense. So it's like wearing heels almost. Um, or I might just do, like, the normal standard um, trainer or sock fursuit feet. But I really like to do the Digilex, so I'm probably going to have a try at that um, soon. And then I'll let you guys know when I'm going to do another video and show you everything that I've done. Okay, so thanks for watching everyone. Hope this has been helpful. If you have any questions, just leave them down below and I'll try and help. And have a good day, I guess. <laughs>